Yeah, hi there. Uh, I'm going to use your initials for privacy purposes, uh, AM, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System to pass the TOEFL IBT. You're also one of my students in the English Language Program at California State University, San Bernardino. And uh, you have completed, it looks like, some practice tests in my website. So first of all, you did practice test, speaking practice test number 13. It says, your friend is nervous because he will have a job interview. What would you tell him? All right, so let's take a look at your response. I would ask him to relax because in job interviews, most of what they look at the... Okay, here we go. I would ask him to relax. Because in job interviews, most of what they look at the person is self-confident, confident. So it depends really on like how you react uh, in the in the interview. So you have to be really relaxed so they can get you can get the job. Okay, so you spoke for 23 seconds. That's not going to be enough. So uh, when you do the TOEFL test, I think you're taking it tomorrow, you want to make sure that you give more examples to support your ideas. So in this case, you might restate the question kind of like you did. You might say, well, if my friend is nervous because he has a job interview, I would tell him to relax by doing three specific things. Then you might say, first of all, uh, in order for my friend to relax, I would tell him to make sure he prepares beforehand for the interview. Or another way my friend can relax is by, and then maybe the third thing my friend can do to relax is. So you want to make sure that you develop your ideas more, you give more examples to help support your ideas. Now on this one, let's take a look at the uh, IBT rubrics, see how you would score. Uh, you really want to use all your time on the independent speaking task. You have about 45 seconds to answer those questions. You want to make sure you utilize all of that time. So uh, on this one, I'm going to put you at about 1.50 out of, out of 4 or 11 points out of 30. So on this one, you express mostly basic ideas. Uh, you're not giving specific details to support your generalization. So that would be my comments uh, on that first one. All right, let's go to number 14. Number 14 is, do you think it's easier to eat healthy food today? Why or why not? And then you say... No, I don't really think we can, we can get as much as healthy food we could have gotten before at like previous years, previous decade or 50 years ago but so you you don't really have a there's not a clear beginning here or structure uh, to your idea so the there's 13 seconds into the response you still haven't created a sharply focused what I call topic like statement. nowadays there are lots of uh, are lots of fast food restaurants so I don't think we can get really healthy food a lot Okay, so you might say something like this. Let me see if I can give you an idea how you can do this. So you say fast food. So you might do these two things. How about this? Let me see if I can give you an idea how you can organize this. So you might say something like this. So when we go back to the question, the question is, is it easier to eat healthy food today? You'll say because of the... Because of the, uh, the high number of fast food restaurants in the United States and because healthy food is expensive, it is not easier to eat healthy food today. Then you say, first of all, it isn't easy to eat healthy food because there's so many fast food restaurants out there. Then you give your example. You might say, for example, in, uh, in San Bernardino, uh, we have McDonald's, we have Burger King, and many other fast food restaurants in many different parts of the city. So it's a lot more convenient for people to eat at these healthy or to eat at these fast food restaurants as opposed to preparing healthy food at home. 
then you might say another reason why it's not easy to eat healthy food is because it's expensive or it's a lot more expensive than unhealthy food. Then you explain that idea, right? So uh, on this one, uh, I think like the other one, you're probably going to score right around uh, eight points out of 30 on this. You're not developing your ideas enough, so you won't get a very high score here. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, this is a uh, practice test number 15. It says, how have mobile phones changed their lives today in relation to some years ago? And you say, mobile phones changed our life a lot at this time. I mean, before, before like 100 years ago, we couldn't have communicated over countries, but now we can even communicate, like if, even if there, if we have uh, a sun right now, like sun is up right now and in a different side of the world, and we still could be able to talk to them with our mobile phones. Okay, so again, your speech is too short. Your goal is to get closer to 45 seconds on this particular response. So how have mobile phones changed our lives? So again, you talked about how you can communicate easier from one country to another, but that's pretty much it. So you probably have to do more than that. So you might want to say, in relation to some years ago, mobile phones have changed our lives because they've allowed us to communicate easier from one country to another and they have given us educational and business benefits. Now you got three key points. You say first of all mobile phones allow us to communicate easier from one country to another. Then you can give the example of maybe you come from Saudi Arabia and you can call people there even when you're here in the United States. It's very convenient for you to do that. Then you can give an educational benefit, maybe a business benefit. And there, if you give an example for each of those, it should be pretty easy for you to speak for 45 seconds. So you, you do need to develop your ideas more than what you're doing. So again, I'm going to put this in a little bit higher, though. You, you, I'm going to put you to about 1.33 out of 4, 10 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. All right, the next one is practice test number 16 that you completed. It's what are your strategies when you are busy with a lot of homework and assignments? And you say, For me, I would do my homework that's due first or my assignment that's due first. I would restate the key ideas to say my strategies for doing homework is... If you want to demonstrate better vocabulary, say place a high priority on the homework that's due first. First, and I would uh, start uh, with with the assignments. That's now be careful about those awkward pauses and hesitations in there. That can also lower your score. Like long, and I would do all my homeworks and assignments at the same time. So when I finish it, I will be done and will be after the afterwards. Okay, so in order to For give me, more, I would do my in order to provide more depth to your speech, you might say, for example, uh, if my grammar homework is due tomorrow, I will make sure I complete those exercises first, and then maybe I have a writing assignment. I'll also make sure that I complete my writing assignment because it's my second priority. You see what I'm saying? So you got to bring up specific ideas. Try to make the speech. Uh, you make it personal make it relate to your personal life I think this is a good strategy to help you develop uh, your ideas in more depth now with this particular one you're probably looking between 8 and 10 points out of 30 again you're not spending enough time to develop your ideas alright let's go to the next one so the last one is practice says 17 and this one says, do you prefer living in the same place or do you like to move around a lot? So then you say, I like to move around a lot because I can see more places and diff different areas at, at the different cities or, or maybe different countries. I really like to move a lot. Now this is kind of broad. 
you're kind of going in a lot of different directions. It's going to be difficult to find specific details for all of that information because you're not very focused. I, will, I can meet more people and different people from different cultures. Now, there you go. So you got, you got two key points. You can see different places. You can meet new people. Those are two good key points. Make sure you provide details to support those. And that's pretty good because... Um, you can you can learn maybe more uh, cooking styles and more uh, how how to like have fun. So you got too many different ideas here, uh, not enough support for those ideas, right? So what I would do here, I would limit it to those first ideas. You might say this, because I can see different places and meet new people. If I have to choose. I prefer to move around a lot. First of all, uh, if I move around a lot, I can meet, I can see new places. For example, uh, my my home country is Saudi Arabia. I live in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. But now, because I've moved around a lot, I now live in California, and I can see the beach. I can see uh, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Uh, I can see Death Valley National Park here in California. If I had moved around a lot, I would not be able to see these new places. Second of all, if I move around a lot, I can also meet new people. For example, because I've now moved from Saudi Arabia to the United States and I live in California, I am now meeting new people and making new friends. For example, in my Level 6 TOEFL class, I have now met new people from different countries such as China, Korea, and so on. So because of these reasons, I prefer to move around a lot rather than staying in one place. So you see that? So you have to do a little bit better uh, in terms of uh, focusing your ideas, creating a more specific focus uh, to what you're doing. Now on that last one, you just went in too many different directions without providing enough detail for those ideas. So I'll put you right around where you are before, maybe around 8 or 9 points out of 30, between 1 and 1.16 out of 4 on this. So you have to do a much better job, I think, organizing and developing your ideas. Before you take the TOEFL IBT exam, and I'll be honest with you, my opinion is right now you are not ready to take the TOEFL exam, it's probably going to be uh, a waste of money for you. But you can take it, go ahead, but you're just simply not ready. You don't have the English skills yet, you don't have the organization skills yet, you're not really able to develop, to support and develop ideas, at least you're not demonstrating this uh, through these uh, speaking tasks. But if you are going to take the TOEFL, uh, here are some speaking lessons I'd like you to take a look at today. You might want to write these down. You can see what I'm doing here, right? So I think, first of all, take a look at speaking lesson number one. It's called Paired Choice Independent Speaking Task. This is good. It's going to give you the ideas on how to structure your ideas. Lesson number two, it'll give you some instruction on how to organize your free choice independent speaking task. Now, I also know that you saw lesson number seven, how to make your speaking coherent. You've already read and reviewed that lesson. You might want to take a look at that one more time. Now, this isn't enough, though. You have vocabulary issues. Your vocabulary is pretty basic, and that's also causing, I think, some of your limitations and your inability to develop your ideas. So in the vocabulary area of my course, AM, I'd like you to take a look at this specific lesson here, lesson number three. It's a vocabulary ebook of 200 basic words. Now, this is not anything that you can do between now and tomorrow, but this is a great lesson to focus on uh, for the next few months. Also, to help you improve your vocabulary, take a look at lesson number four. Complete all these quizzes to get feedback on your progress complete lesson five and then review all of these quizzes here to get your uh, progress and then do lesson number six and again 
go through all of those quizzes. If you can do that, now this is probably going to take you about two or three months, but this is really going to help you develop your vocabulary. And that way, it'll make it easier for you to develop your ideas when you're speaking and when you're writing. All right, now pronunciation. Uh, you also need to work on your pronunciation. I think there are some things that you can do that can help you. Now again, this is anything you want to try to do between now and tomorrow, but this is something you can do over the next few months that will begin to help you speak more clearly. Uh, first of all, you can start going through all of these lessons, beginning with lesson two, and go all the way down to lesson number 24. This will help you with uh, your basic knowledge of how to pronounce vowel and consonant sounds of American English. Once you've gone through all those lessons and you feel comfortable uh, with those sounds, then you can get into the more advanced area of the pronunciation section of my course. Namely, you can start focusing on lessons 26 through uh, 47. And then uh, I think that would also be helpful for you. Now, another thing that, that, that will help you is continue, find opportunities uh, to listen to uh, the spoken language. Uh, that means that you can actually uh, watch TV with maybe a focus on documentary, history, science, and news programs. That would be great. And uh, if possible, limit the subtitles that you're using. Try to focus on what the speakers are saying without reading subtitles. That's going to be more beneficial for you, especially since you are at level six. You are advanced in your English proficiency, but you're not really proving that through your speaking right now, but I know you're in level six. So uh, watch as much TV as you can. Also, take opportunities uh, to read maybe newspapers, magazines, and books. This type of uh, practice, both from a listening and a reading standpoint, will help you to have better reading and listening, but it will also improve your language use, which is something that you want to work on right now. All right, anyway, so I think we're good. So I just went through and gave you feedback on practice test number 13, number 14, number 15, number 16, and number 17.